All right, you'll, most of you will probably recognize this area um, on my property or back behind my property. Same spot where I had the daytime uh, tree shake. I was walking back here. I've been, been back here in a couple weeks. And I'm walking up. And there's a rock stuck here. Let's go check out the, uh, where I left the eggs. Now, if you find something like this, could another human being have walked through here and for whatever reason put a rock up there? Yeah, they could have. <clears throat> could have been. All right, so the eggs are gone. Um, when I came out here before, one of them had been gotten into. And there's still shells around from, it only looks like I left three eggs. And that's only, it's like shells from maybe one egg. So, keep an eye out for more shells, but there were three. Something else could have easily... walked off with it, but... So this is where the eggs were. And then right... Right down over there is where that... You can't really see it. But the, um... The stump with the rock on it. It's close. It's like right over there. I don't have my gimbal, so this video is not going to be super steady. But I'm going to look around a little bit more. I'm going to take that rock home with me. Those are the two, two bones that were back here before. But, um, you know, I mean, uh, there's nobody that comes on this property. This is like a, it's a commercial use property where this part of the property is not used. That's what I'll say about it. But that does not mean somebody else couldn't have walked back here and placed that rock. But, you know, something with hands did it. That's all I'll say. All right, there's no way to know 100%, but another odd part is, uh, this is the way I come every time, right up through here. And if something or someone wanted to leave something for me to see, that stump right there would be about as perfect of a spot to leave it. But I am going to take it, and then I'm gonna take it up close to my house, and then, uh, I'll leave it somewhere up there and maybe see if it ends up back here. All right, so a little review. Right over there is where I found the headless squirrel. And then a few days later, I was back up the hill back towards my house. And I got it on video where something's pulling a branch down right in the same area uh, day after that I find a 
perfectly normal, just dead squirrel right behind my chicken coop. I found bones back here. Not a lot, just a few. And today we found the rock. So, you know, it's the only bad thing about doing this kind of stuff when it's not exactly on my property. Um, there's no way to know how that rock got there, but all I can do is document and then I'll put it up by my house, see what happens. We're back up at my house at the corn pile or the goody pile, I should say. Wedge the rock down in there. It's down there nice and tight, but it's, you know, sticks out like a sore thumb. So we will see what happens. <laughs> 